Burston Edmonds Rugby Club, we're uh, a long-standing club. We've had uh, 92 years of history, so very proud, come from very small, humble beginnings. Lots of uh, events along the way. Uh, I'm sure some of the other people you're talking to will tell you about the disaster in 1974 with the air crash when the club nearly folded. But we managed to survive that due to a lot of hard work by a lot of guys at the time. Uh, and since then, it's been a steady upward path. And particularly within these last 10 years, we've really uh, moved on both on and off the pitch. We uh, wanted to create something that was sustainable. And um, when we had the ambition to start moving up the leads and moving forward, uh, the catalyst was a guy called Terry Sands of, of Samurai fame. And he came along to me with a plan about how he thought Boris Edmonds was a sleeping giant as a club. But clearly to go forward, you need financial stability. And we took a conscious decision that we would only move forward if we could do it in a way that was sustainable over a long period of time. As a club, we decided that we didn't want to have one person with too much of a controlling interest. And we wanted to run it in a very professional and business-like approach. Uh, a number of the people on the exec are businessmen uh, and therefore uh, we try and run the rugby club as we would our business. Um, so we set it up with a number of streams of income running from the bar, uh, events that we hold such as the fireworks, uh, we hold uh, an international sevens here in May which is always very well supported and produces a, a good deal of income for us. And that coupled with uh, setting up a, a good commercial team. So we have um, two or three people that are out in the marketplace always looking for key sponsors. The advice I would give any club is, yes, it's great if somebody comes along and says, look, we want to give you a million quid. Wouldn't we all love that? But at the end of the day, you've got to be very careful. You can't build a successful long-term strategy around that. We. Uh, continually strive to improve our infrastructure both in terms of the clubhouse, a recently constructed new stand, um, an FDC um, to allow our first, second and third teams and some degree to our fourths although they make use of the bar more than they do the uh, facilities for training um, to basically bring everyone on and bring the level and the quality up to as close to a professional standard as we can.